Hi everybody, Renegade68 here with some more Let's Play Persona 4 Golden Line. So I'm probably starting in a weird spot for a lot of you. Um, and by that I mean all of you, because you're probably used to me being in the game. However, I was looking around the TV listings and I noticed this. Mr. Edgar's TV class classroom, the unconscious, it's just there, the second of ten lectures. Let's check it out! Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. It's just there. <laughs> oh god, I have no idea what his voice was. I think it was it was kind of a lax voice though, I think. Hello there everyone. It's time for Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. Oh. Everyone loves Joe the Jungle Psychology Returns. An invitation to the you that you don't know. Today's installment number two, the unconscious. It's just there, dude. Oh, do you remember the last lecture? You're not already just glossing over it, are you? <laughs> uh. Now let's begin the class. Cirrus Atar Besanar Seminar. Judge the Psychiatrist is a cool dude. You've heard me say Judge this and Judge that and Jumanji and George of the Jungle. But thinking back on it, I never explained who George is, did I? So this time I'll give you some biographical detail throughout the lesson. Okay, listen up. Carl George of the Jungle was born in Switzerland in 1875. By the turn of the century, he began his career as a psychiatrist. Yeah. He became a doctor and counseled people with mental illnesses. At the time, psychiatry was still in the very early stages of development. But there was one effective method of treatment known at the time. That method was hypnosis. Oh. Throughout the use of hypnosis, Judge and his fellow doctors were able to treat the patient's mental illnesses. While under hypnosis, the patients displayed sides of themselves that they've never been seen, as well as alternate personalities. So where do these hidden sides and other personalities come from? That became the question, du jour. That's right, I'm French now. Where are they hiding, essentially? If man could be aware of the aspects of his mind, all of them even, there should be nowhere to hide. But as it happened, there was. Because it's just there. See what I did there? The conclusion that the psychiatrist came to was that there existed an area of the mind that people are not aware of. Whoa. That is, of course, the unconscious. The opposite of the conscious. Duh. And that is how doctors like Jungung first discovered the existence of the unconscious in those days. I'm sure many of you know, but the one who contributed the most to this discovery of the unconscious was Sigmund Freud. Oh god, is Judge a real person then? I know Sigmund Freud's a real person. Uh, okay. <laughs> Freud would, could be considered Judge's mentor, but unfortunately we don't have much time in these lessons to discuss their relationship. They were totally gay. The unconscious was discovered by a group of extraordinary men. For now, just remember that fact. Now, let me ask you. When you think of the unconscious, how do you feel? Uh, it's scary. I don't feel anything. Mad respect. Class clown, eh? Or a psych specialist? By the way, you choose an odd answer. Oh, well. I'm sure you were driven to it by some unknown power. Proof of unconscious. If you tell me it's there, I feel vaguely like it is. But in daily life, it's hard to believe, because you can't sense it, yo. However, Judge and the others claim that you can detect the unconscious in your daily life, even without hypnosis. One way is through slips. Nip slips, to be precise. Yep, let's all go to the swim place. It's the, the, the pool! The pool, how hard is that? God, man, remember, it's pool. Clinically known as paraparaboles, Things like a slip of the tongue, oh, that's all, or forgetting to do things fall into this category. You've been in situations where you accidentally called someone, such as your teacher mommy, right? Oh, God. I actually do remember a time where I did do that. I called one of my teachers mommy, and it was a guy. No, I'm just kidding. It was a girl, but it was awkward. What you meant to say was Miss Psycho, but something else slipped out. The unconscious is closer than you thought. Another way to detect the unconscious is in dreams. That's easy to see, you know? Typically, one dream of things that are not possible in the real world. You may have surprised yourself before with dreams of things you've never experienced, haven't you? 
They really were beyond your imagination, weren't they? Something your conscious mind could never have come up with. And it really is freaky. Um, it's like Inception uh, said. I know I haven't seen it, but I've seen like a trailer for it. Um, like when you're dreaming, you don't realize it's a dream until you wake up, and then you realize how weird it was. Um, it's kind of kind of funky that way. But yeah, like there's been very few instances where I've realized I was in a dream. And in those instances, it typically turned out to be a nightmare because I couldn't get out of the dream. I wanted to wake up, but I didn't know how. That that, that hasn't happened to me for a long time, but um, yeah, it's it. yeah, it has. It did happen like maybe a few times way back when, where like I would realize I was in a dream and I just want to wake up and I wouldn't know how. But um, yeah, usually you don't realize you're a dream until you wake up. If you realize you're a dream before you wake up, it probably means it's a nightmare. Anyways. Yeah, dreams are quite close to the unconscious. Dreams are an important subject to study in Junjin psychology, but I'll go over that in another lecture, Shaw. As a psychiatrist, Junj considered the unconscious to be a big problem. So much so, he changed his name to George of the Jungle. Shaw. Why? Because he considered it to be the cause of mental illness. Oh, dude. This is how he saw things. In a healthy mind, the conscious was in control. Raining in the unconscious. Oh yeah, like a rainer. Like all of the red-nosed reindeer. No, wait. All of the other reindeer who also had a red nose. No, I'm confusing my stories. For his mentally ill patients, the unconscious broke free of its reins and ran amok. Oh man, amok. If you change M-O-K to M-U-K, you could have a rad Pokemon. Is the unconscious evil? No, it's just different. Jeez. Hearing it that way, you might think the unconscious is a bad thing. But that's not quite how Junge saw it. Uh, the unconscious... An, un an uncontrolled unconscious taking over is a bad thing, yeah. But the unconscious itself is not innately bad. Well, them to say this, you might ask? Dude. His observations as a psychiatrist led him to realize that the cause of mental illness was actually on the conscious side. Oh, wow. When you suppress your emotions too tightly, or work too hard, or stretch yourself to your limit, the unconscious makes it makes its move, dude. Essentially, when the unconscious mind becomes overtaxed and unbalanced, the unconscious mind comes out as if to stop it. I see. Okay. When the conscious mind, you know, is doing too much, and the, the unconscious is like, hey, stop it, you're pissing me off, then they start causing problems. Gotcha. The unconscious compensates for the conscious when the latter overextends itself. Seen this way, the unconscious definitely seems like something you'd want to have. Yep. Its role is to balance the mind. Dead. Now then, so far we have learned to view the mind as divided into conscious and unconscious halves. Now let's talk about you. Me? Really? Yes, you, Timothy. The you of your conscious mind is referred to in Junjun psychology as the ego. Let go of my ego. Haha. <laughs> This, too, is now a common term, which makes things complicated. Uh oh But for the purpose of selection, when I say ego, it will carry the Junjun meaning. Yeah, the common meaning is more like, uh, um, you gotta drop that ego of yours. Like, when they, when they, there's different types of egos, but it's like, it's like attitude. When someone says, you gotta drop your attitude or whatever, or stop that attitude, they're not saying stop having attitude, because even people who are kind all the time have a kind attitude. But they're just using it as like, when they're saying attitude, they mean negative attitude. It's like, it's implied they're saying negative. I mean, I don't know why it became that way, because kind attitudes are just as much attitudes as negative attitudes, but that's how people view it now. When they say, stop with that attitude, they mean the negative attitude. Same thing for ego. Like, there are kind egos, negative egos, good egos, there's all kinds of egos. But when people say, um, like, leave your ego at the door or something, um, they're talking about the negative ego, the the jerkish ego, but yeah, for some reason it's always implied like negative with ego and attitude, I don't know why. But anyways, yeah. The ego is the center of the conscious, and in most respects is the mind, but it's only you in the conscious sense. Shaw. The domain of the ego does not extend into the unconscious. This will be a key point later on in our studies of George of the Jungle Psychology with Jumanji. Guest starring Will Powers. What? So let me ask you again. When you think of the unconscious, how do you feel? It's scary. I don't feel anything. Mad respect. 
There's the answer I was looking for. Good. It seems you understand. Uh, I had mad respect both times. The first time it was weird, and now you're saying it's correct? What the frick, man? I was on top of this shit. You can't understand the mind's true form without knowing and respecting the unconsciousness. Death. The ego within the conscious. Essentially, we are residents of the conscious, so our thinking is biased toward it, dude. Totally biased. We take the conceited view that we are the masters of our own minds. When in truth, the mind is nothing but a tiny conscious working on the support of the unconscious mass of energies. If you forget that, I'm sure you see now. Okay. Oh, class is over. Well, damn. Then our time is up. Next time, we'll cover the amazing disposition of the mind as advocated by Jumanji. Jumanji himself. Guest star in George of the Jungle. So ends today's lesson. Well, that's great. So, we have now seen the 0th episode and the 15th episode. Now we just gotta see 1 through 14. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I get it. It even says in the second of 10 lectures. So this is also 0, zero. I wonder why it says 15. This is zero zero. This is zero zero. Maybe ooh, is there another thing like bonus episode or something? Um, this is zero zero. This is zero zero. This is zero zero. That's weird. Uh, why do I have one thing that's fifteen? Weird. Whatever. Load game. I don't think I ever read these blurbs. Your uncle and detective assigned to the murder case. Um, your cousin Dojima's daughter. She's in first grade. <laughs> uh, wait, what does it say? Your cousin. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. I guess it changes as you develop. Child friend doesn't see her as a woman. I see, yeah. You're saving up money from the offerings of the shrine. Alright, um... Um... Oh, yeah. Items. You curious about my items? This is what I got. If you didn't have time to read all that, pause. I'm talking to Jima now. What's up, Jima? Jima and I go, uh, <clears throat> make the flowers on the, of the fam on the <laughs> family altar. Oh yeah, it was Mother's Day. Thanks. Um, you wanna hang out? Hey, Renegade, how's it going? Oh, or, well, maybe that wasn't that. Uh, wasn't the right line. It wasn't the that line is how I read it at first. Dojima's struggling to find the right words, as he does. I don't consider myself an old man yet, but when it comes to high schoolers, I don't know what to talk about. You were a high schooler once, I'm sure, but the times have probably radically changed. You can't communicate well with Dojima. If your expression was at the level of eloquent, you'd be able to carry on a conversation. Ah, I see. I need better expression then. That's my lowest stat, isn't it? I believe. Um, understanding it, uh, expression is rough. Yeah, I need to up my expression. Uh, cause it's my lowest by far. Cause courage is reliable, knowledge is informed, diligence is persistent, understanding is kindly, but expression is still rough. My dude job ups expression though. Maybe I should uh, work on my job. Let's do that. Um, I think I've studied enough, right? Maybe. Um, what's the other option? It ups my expression, right? Just a double checking, but I believe it does. Ooh, I can do both? I can take out all of them? Shit, I didn't realize. I guess I'll try taking out all of them. Cultivate your diligence. Translate, oh, expression, yeah, that's right, that's what I want. So I can take out multiple jobs at once. Okay, I didn't realize. Um, I guess I have to try taking on more then. I didn't realize I could take on all of them. Um, not sure if I can take on any others though. I would like to up my expression and get some money, but I should study more, there's one day left. I was gonna talk with Dojima, but because I can't, I might as well study, I can always work later. I said study. Knowledge is increased. As you study, you read a number of dictionaries, uh, entries that piqued your interest. Knowledge increased again. Alright. Hopefully I'll do good on the test. Oh boy. First term, midterms begin today and continue through Thursday. You should hurry to school. Okie dokie. Hey, Chie, what's up? Exams are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. Yep, yep. Uh, have you studied for them? Learn to pick your battles. Um, 
Learn to pick your bad. Have you studied for them? Can't can't you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? <laughs> but even once exams are over, we're not done with the case. All this depressing stuff's just gonna keep going on and on and on. Mm. Honestly, I'm gonna have to read that again. Can I, let me press select, cause I think I'm not even sure. Oh, let me check. Fuck, I'm not even sure what. Uh, like she said, can't you tell? But it's like I wasn't even sure. Was she saying she studied or that she didn't study? I'm not even sure. I think she studied. I mean, she studied at least with me a bit. I don't know. Anyways, midterms day one. Okay, teacher. What is it called when muscles grow after exercise? Um, muscles grow after ex that's overcompensation. The thing I got wrong before, right? Oh, is this gonna be a bunch of shit that we've already done that we have to do again? Maybe. Uh, oh, I, I suppose. I guess I should've been paying better attention. But yeah, it was definitely overcompensation. Right? Yeah. The thing that should be a penis joke, but I guess it just isn't. Isn't just, I should say. You feel you've uh, chosen the correct answer. What is the year before 1 AD called? Um... It's not 0 AD. Wait. Year before 1 AD. Yeah, they wouldn't have a 0, 0, 0, 0 year. It wouldn't make sense. I, I think it's 1 BC, I believe. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm right. Alright, good. Next. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Uh, one subject per day, right? Is that how it works? Oh god, we're going through all of these now. Midterms day two. Which of these types of numbers does not exist? Okay, oh shit, what was this again? Um, I said, okay, it's either betrothed or marriage. I said one of them and the other was correct. Fuck. I think marriage numbers don't exist, right? And betrothed are the ones that do? Fuck, if I get this wrong, I'm gonna feel stupid. I think I said betrothed numbers don't exist and it turned out they did? And then marriage are the ones that don't? I'm gonna say marriage. Okay, hopefully that, that, that indicates that I have. Who translated I love you as the moon is beautiful? Wait, who translated I love you as the moon is beautiful isn't it? Oh shit, I don't remember the name. So Seki Natsumi, I remember that name being important. Shime Fuda, Fuda, Fudapate, I don't remember that name. Yukichi Fuzu, I want to say it's Sosuke Natsumi. Cause that's the only name I recognize. Like, I don't remember Shime Fut Futabare or Yukichi Fukuzawa, so I'm just gonna say this one because this is the name I remember. Yes! Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not like- I know I'm not wrong in all of them, but... Alright, I guess we're just gonna fly through these days. It's probably for the best. Midterms day three. Oh god, we have King Moron. Who said as soon? Oh, that was a rough, 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 rough. Who said as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom? As soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. Shit, I don't remember. As soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. Sartre, Sa Sartre. I don't remember that name at all. Nietzsche. That looks like a. That looks like a German name. Hopefully that's not racist. Um, then Pythagore, I, th I recognize Pyth- there's also Pascal, but I want to say Pythagoras, because that sounds fancy. As soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. Pascal's the only one I know as like a big time guy, but I don't think that's what he did. I want to say Pythagoras. Oh god, really? I really hope they're not just pulling my leg here. Which of the following Hufffuff is the highest mountain in the solar system? Highest mountain in the solar system. I want to say it's Olympus, but I don't think know if it's a mountain. Fuck it. They said solar system. I'm gonna go for Olympus. Really? They're not pulling my leg, are they? Am I getting all these right? Please say yes, because I'm... They better be not be pulling my leg. Like, you think you got it right? Turns out you got half of them wrong. That would suck. Okay, last day of the exams. You're familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers. 
Wait, what? Did it just skip the questions? Did, did I get them all right, or what happened? It's finally over. Yep, yep. So, did I get them right, or what? God, you're driving me crazy, game. Did I get six for six? Because that'd be pretty good. And by pretty good, I mean it'd be perfect, but, you know. Since it's just six questions, that'd only really be pretty good. If it was like 20 questions, I got them all right, that would be amazing. Anyways. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. You know I do. Hey, quiet down! What? You sad because you got them wrong or something? Or are people still writing? Ah, oh, that's right. So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? <laughs> Honestly, I never saw a pop point in doing this. People that compare answers after the exam. I mean, it's already over. You either got it wrong or you got it right. Um, hell, I wouldn't want to know. Because, like, if I find out from a friend... Then I just get all angry, like, I was wrong, fuck! Or, I was right, duh. But, um, I mean, sometimes, I guess if there are questions you're not sure about, you might want to ask to try and ease your nerves, but... Nah, I guess there's some sense to that, but if, like, you're sure about something, then meh. Anyways. Although, yeah, I guess Chia would be the kind who might have guessed a couple. In that case, it does make sense to try and ask the smart person if you were right. Eh. So it doesn't drive you crazy. Um, I put her sorrowful expression. I feel like that's right. I don't know. I don't think I had, I got that question. I only got six questions. She said question seven. Oh, crap. Then I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. Next time, don't put them on the table then. Leave them on the floor. Gosh, learn your lesson, she ate. Rice cakes? Wait. Was that what the story was about? <laughs> Alright, I'm giving up on composition. I'm gonna bet it all on geography. I don't think that's how it works. Maybe it is in Japan, but I know over here in the Americas, um, or at least in Canada, you have an exam for each um, subject, and if you fail one exam, you have to retake that course. It's not like you can fail one and pass another and be okay with it doesn't work that way. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Oh, that's a question I got. I got uh, Olympus, which I think is right. Um, I Mount Everest. That, was that one of the options? I did Olympus Mons. Ah, seriously? I chose the wrong one. <laughs> don't don't fret. That was one that I had a hard time on too. I think uh, that was like the only question I don't remember ever being asked cuz they said something about solar systems, but I don't think it was a mountain. It was something else. Oh, I put that one too. Oh, that means I'm probably right. Score. All right, we're going to join the smart kids club. Maybe I'll be number two and she'll be number one. Or I'll be number one. Ooh. Whoa, you two. It's probably the right answer. Ha <laughs> ha. She's that kid, huh? The kid who gets all the answers right. Yeah. That that's I mean that's good and all but I mean you got to know that people are going to be jelly and hate on you because of that Typically if you're like too smart if you're like get them all right in some cases That's another form of like people wanting to avoid you I mean if you're good at making friends then it's fine But if you're already antisocial and you're really good then you're probably gonna have an even harder time making friends um, At least if you're really good at everything if you're really good at something it's different like I was always great at math um but, uh, I'm just antisocial in general, but I still, um, but if I was even better at, like, everything, then I probably would have been more antisocial. But, that, that's how, that's my understanding of, of the way things work. But, of course, math even, eventually, once I got to high school, I started to phase out of it, because they started bringing in, um, it started to become less about just number crunching and more about graphs. And I always hated graphs. Um, so I got kind of worse and worse, but, eh. Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. Jeez. <laughs> did you get the wrong answer for that one, too? Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. We're gonna meet the commercial girl. Sick. Where is it? They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. Nope, nope. It's gonna be uh, the, peep the, the, TV the TV girl. We're gonna meet her. No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. Oh! 
Okay, it won't be the TV girl then. It's going to be um it's going to be the blonde-haired guy, right? I'm guessing. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. I don't know any of the, the I don't know the three other characters' names. Like there's three other characters in the intro we haven't met yet. I don't know any of their names, but I know them as TV girl, blonde-haired guy, and then there's that other guy. He had black hair and wore a blue hat. I believe it was blue. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Yeah, you have glasses on and everything. Seems weird. Usually when you have glasses, it means you're a nerd. Even though you can also have glasses just because your eyesight's bad. So, But then again, the reason that happens to relate to nerd a lot is because one of the things that can make your eyesight bad is reading too much. And nerds are known as reading too much. So when you see people with glasses, it's not a, necessarily a bad assumption to assume they're kind of a nerd because they probably read a lot to have glasses. Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but... Group blind date? Count me in! <laughs> it's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Maybe. Biker gang? Oh, that voice just now. By the way, I recognize it. Um, as I said earlier, I've been replaying Soul Hackers. This game got me into that, especially on the weekends when I can't record this. Um... That guy voiced one of the characters in that game. Oh, uh, was his name Six? That was his code name. I don't remember his real name, but um, yeah, Six. Uh, he's one of the main characters in Soul Hackers. The guy that was just saying stuff right now also voiced that guy. Anyways. Oh yeah, they raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. I don't think I've ever run into him either, though I'm new. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. I don't hear too many motorcycles, but, um, oh, I used to have this dog, um, I think I might have mentioned him in some other video somewhere, but, um, when a motorcycle would come by, like, like, it didn't matter, I believe, yeah, it was mostly motorcycles, um, the, the, uh, like, the dog would go crazy every single time, it, it, it didn't matter where we were, what was going on, it just, if it heard a motorcycle, the barking would just not stop, at least for a while, until the time passed, so I'm glad... I don't live in an area close to too many motorcycles. I hear some guys at this school are part of it, too. <gasps> some bad boys, huh? Yeah, I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. Oh, shit. Is the blonde guy actually go to a school? I assumed that they were, like, going to other places, like, they would get to on the bus or something. And then maybe they'd transfer here later on in the year. But maybe they're already here, or at least the blonde-haired guy is. One of the guys working at Jeunesse said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Oh, yeah? Although, was he in a biker gang? I don't know. You're the one bringing it up. Did, did you say he was a legend? Uh, Yukiko, are you getting horny? Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. What does she think? Uh, what does she think? What? Uh, 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 did you say he was a legend? I I'm confused. Uh, how do you, maybe that's a Japanese thing, but I'm not really getting what the, what the joke here is. Do, 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 ooh, Ko's here. Oh, oh my god, they're everywhere. Ko's here, Yumi's here, fucking Yosuke, my freaking stalker is here. Usually Chia hangs out in the room. Oh my god, I can do her again? Are you kidding? Oh, should I do it that many? I shouldn't even do this, should I? Like, I shouldn't go too much in one direction right now. But I want to. At the same time, I don't want to have not enough courage and then not be able to bone her. Like when she asks a question and I want to bone her. Give the boner answer? I might not be able to give the boner answer. I want to give the boner answer, so... Yeah. Who are you? What? Oh, you're the chance to do it in Renegade. Renegade? Oh, I must have a mistake. This is your shoebox. What? Something in your shoebox. Huh? It's a no. Excuse me for writing this to you out of the blue. I held my emotions back all this time because I didn't want to disturb your studies, but I just had to tell you. I love you! It's a very moving love note. However, it's actually just to someone else. Apparently, the girl put this in the wrong shoebox. Perhaps she's the one who wrote the Emma request the fox showed you. Oh, shit! You should talk to her the next time you see her. Oh, shit! Alright. Ooh, guy. So the boy who gave me leaves the one time. Thanks to you, I can play with my children. Grandchildren, you really helped me out. Praise the gods here who brought the two of us together. 
I started maintaining the shrine again since it's not doing so good. I wanted to make it better, but I don't have the money. So I decided to put a relationship fortune box here as a little fundraiser. Normally, we only put it on a special occasion like New Year's, but this is for the gods. We get the fortunes of shrine famous. For its relationship with the bomb to work, you should take one. I'm sure you'll get closer to where you're interested in. Ooh, what? Oh, but we put the box away on rainy days. So be careful. Now I gotta go play with the magrain again. Only want to. Okay. You can now draw relationship fortunes. Oh shit. You might get a, a little closer to someone you have a social link with. However, you will not get as close to them by drawing fortunes as you would spending time with them. Draw fortunes only when they are unavailable to spend time with. Yo. You're gonna get. You're gonna practice, right? Your relationship with Ko is gonna become closer soon. Uh, go to practice. Let's do it. Sweet. Let's give it our best shot. Oh yeah. Ko looks happy. Super. Yasugami High Gym. You attended basketball practice. Your diligence has increased. Nice. All right. Okay. Balls been polished, the floor's been mopped. Let's grab some grub. And of course, he's there too. I'm down for some Aya, dude. Hopefully, they don't want me to have money, because I don't have money. I gotta make some money today, I think. I'm gonna work. How do you always pop up when we start talking about food? Jeez, why can't you just let us have a bromance? We did have a bromance the one time, at night, but that was it. Alright, let's get changed. Then head over to Aya. Whoa. Oh damn, I forgot, I can't! What, you have plans with your girlfriend again? What? What are you arguing with yourself about? Sorry. I just remembered some personal stuff I gotta take care of. Ugh! You two go on ahead. Sorry guys, dude! Ugh! Oh. The relationship's supposed to be with Ko. Man. Oh, Dice game. Oh no, your bromance is failing? What? Oh. Here's the day he goes before the almighty house of Ichijo. Oh shit, Ichijo, who's that? Hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if I told you. In fact, I can use your help. I really don't have a hard on for him. I mean, Daisuke looks serious. You had to eye to listen to what Daisuke had to say. Just don't expect me to pay for anything. I cannot afford it. Central Shopping District Chinese din Diner Aya. About Ko. Daisuke slowly begun begins to open up. I don't really like talking about his back like this, but I want you to help him out. Um. Just tell me how. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks. Let's get on somberly. It's about Ko's family. He lives by himself, but his parents' place is like right next door. What the fuck? Why would that doesn't make any sense? Once a week or so, he drops by there, like he did today. His family is what's the word I'm looking for? Distinguished. Very traditional, very strict. Did they force him to move out when he turned 18 or something? No, we're not that old yet. How, what, no, we're in the last year of high school, so we're 17, right? Or are we 18 already? I don't know. We might be already 18, I don't know. You never know just by looking at him, though. That of the Ichijo family is Ko's grandma. They follow her orders like she's the law. Problem is, the old crone doesn't approve of him playing basketball. Oh, shoot. She calls it barbaric. In a way it is. Um That sucks. But it's just a sport, I can see that. Um I don't know how you want to be an answer. Like that I can see that is what I'm thinking, but even though I can see that, that might be rude to say. Like just because I can see that though doesn't mean um I'm gonna go with my gut and just say I can see that. Well, I guess I can kind of understand, too, with all the potential for injuries. In case size. Even though he had a happy note? He's been forced to quit a lot of things since he was a kid. Oh, shit. Not basketball. I can't give this up. So I want you to help him out. Easier said than done. Leave it to me. What can I do? Easier said than done. Leave it to me. Um, Leave it to me. Okay. I'm glad I came to you. Looks relieved. All right. I'm glad I can rely on you. You sense Daisuke's trust in you, and that's gonna up my social link even though tribute with Ko? That's freaking weird. What if I went to soccer instead? Would I have like a completely different, like reverse situation where, I don't know, I hanged out with Ko to get close to, to, to Daisuke or something? That's weird. 
After working about Ko with him, you feel the relationship with the pair has grown deeper. Yep. Hooray! Fellow athletes, strength! Super. Fellow athlete social link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas with the strength Arcana has grown. This one's on me. Sweet up, man. Good. I don't have the money for it. I have literally 34 cents. I used all my allowance! Uh, I don't have money, though. So, please don't tell me I have to pay for it. Hey, uh, how about some Zeka? Those are good. Um, if you have money for it. I guess they're cheap. You talked with Daisuke for a while about school. You decided to go home after saying goodbye. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, oh my gosh, what the frickity frat. Okay. Welcome back. Oh, hi again, Dai uh, Daisuke. Dojima. Goddamn D's. That's the unconscious thing they were talking about, but man, it's a real problem for me. Like, if they have the same freaking first initial, I get them mixed up. Alright. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Oh, shit. Can I have a word with you? You go to Juness a lot? Um, very often. Uh, that ass of Dacha keeps vanishing every now and again. Oh, yeah. Bosch 2.0? Figure he's probably slacking off around Juness whenever he does. If you see him hanging around when you're at Juness, he's probably goofing off. If you see a Dachi at Juness, tell him off for me, okay? Oh, God. I'm gonna get a social link with a Dachi. Are they gonna do something weird? Like, where... I can get increase my social link with Dojima by telling off a Dachi, but then I increase my social link with a Dachi by not telling him off. Like that reminds me of um I remember in Tales of Symphonia, I'm not gonna say which characters for those who haven't played it. There are two particular characters that basically um, almost all the decisions you make, they'll up one and down the other, and that happens almost every time. Because all the characters have relationships with you. And it forms up to something at the end where you basically you either get a bromance or a romance with someone at the end. Um, but um, there are two particular characters that like I don't know if uh, they're supposed to be considered to hate each other, but maybe it's implied. But the point is like every pretty much every action you make, almost all of them will up one of them and down the other. So I mean sometimes it won't affect either, but if it ups one, it probably downs the other. So it's kind of funny. Anyways. Remember that you've seen a dachi in food court before. Next time you go to Juness, you should be on the lookout for a dachi. Oh shit. There's a variety of food inside, you can make lunch for tomorrow. Spend the evening making tomorrow's lunch? Um, I wanna make money and work and shit. Oh man. Uh, if there are, you might be able to make lunch. Oh man, I should, I wanna do that because it's like, oh, I should do that. I should do that, because it could be some, some cool scene. But I want money! I want to make money! Alright, fine, I'll do it. Yes. Fuck. I want money. God damn it. I also want, um, expression. Anyway, surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make meat stew. Meat stew sounds terrible. I hate stews. But okay, maybe they'll like it. Do, 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 do. You only have to simmer it. How should you simmer it? Um, simmer without a lid, use strong heat, simmer with a drop lid. Fuck! Ugh, if only I was a better cook. How should you simmer it? Use strong heat, simmer without a lid, uh, simmer with a drop lid. I don't know, I- this sounds stupid. Um, only have to simmer it, simmer with a drop lid, um, Simmer without a lit? I don't know. With a drop? That sounds the smart answer, but I only have to simmer it, so. Simmer without a lit. Ingredients have been cooked. You obtained a serving of short simmered meat stew. Oh shit. Today's the day. Today's the big lunch day. And there might be results as well. Lunch break. You brought your lunch today. Do you wish to eat lunch with someone? Uh, yes. Who would you like to invite for lunch? You have Scanamora, Chie Satanaka, others, Elo- Chie, duh! Um, what's it say for others? Uh, Ko, others. Yumi, others. Okay, Chie. I always Chie. So, Chie. <laughs> Is this gonna waste the day though? Ah well, if it does, then fine. Yeah, let's go be high rooftop. Get lunch with Chie. 
You make short simmer meat stew together. Huh? What is this? Is it terrible? It's revolting! Oh, shit! Oops, sorry, that just kind of slipped out. Haha. <laughs> Gee, I didn't seem to enjoy it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that all? No! No! I still got an after school, though? Oh. Oh. No! I I hate that. I. No! Gee, no! No! Mmm! Mmm! Now, cause I feel like I got gypped, I'm gonna load. Load this one. And I'm gonna make food better. Let's make better food. Make food better. Open the fridge. Yes. Let me see if I can make it better or if GA will hate it every time. Um. All right, let me see if I can make it uh, better. Uh, use strong heat. Thanks to strong heat, the ingredients were turned into a rubbery mass of unpleasant looking food. Doesn't seem edible at all. I decided to wash down the drain. What? That's even worse. What? 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 I'm learning. All right, fuck it. Might as well go the whole way. Let's find out what they all are. What if I put the lid on? God damn you, game. I thought I got a bad result, so I try it again. I get a worse result. Is it just that she doesn't like meat stew? If she doesn't like, if she doesn't work like meat stew, that's worth learning. I feel. So let me see how it is if I use a lid. Uh, simmer with a droplet. Do 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 do. Ingredients have been deliciously cooked to completion. Look, it came out perfectly. It looks amazing. Long simmer meat stew. Oh shit. Okay, like you see, that's something I wanted to learn. Like it's possible she didn't like it just because she doesn't like meat stew, but it's also possible it was bad. Anyways, now that I've made better stew, normally I don't want to do that. That feels like cheating, but normally I don't like to do takes backsies. But I just kind of had to learn. I wasn't sure if that was. Like, she doesn't like it just because she doesn't like meat stew, or she doesn't like it because I did it bad? Because I'm, I'm not sure. Anyways, now I know. Now I know for future reference. I usually won't do that. I usually don't want to renege on things like that. Now how she, how will she react? Yeah, Andrew Chie. You ate long simmered meat stew together. Delicious! I've never eaten anything that tastes this good before at all, ever! I want more, but I don't want to finish it all. What a dilemma! Um, did you make this for me? <laughs> oh, blushing. I even went through time and made it two times more. Thank you. It was Chia's favorite. I feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. That's right, Chia has a hard on for me, and I know it. Um, anyways, that might have even been a waste, because I have Chariot, but that's okay. You have no choice but to wait to- okay, whatever. Even if that was a waste, I don't care. I still liked it. Um, now I'm gonna save over my next one. I'm normally not gonna do that. I even feel a bit dirty doing it, but I, um, but whatever. It was just for the scene because Chia will probably be with me regardless. Although she can't uh, hang out today, unfortunately. Uh, oh, it's you, right? Is it you? Oh, you're. It's the girl that mistakenly put a love letter inside your shoebox. Did you read my letter? Um, I read it. How could you, you jerk? It didn't even have the courage to sign it, and yet a totally random person now knows my secret. What's the point of trying to be secretive anymore? I'm already embarrassed myself this much. I might as well go and confess. How do you like that? Yo. Hobbies. Uh, I read, I read a lot of different genres, but I admit I have a lot of animal-related books. Stories and novels are good, but I really like picture books and books with animal facts. Ooh, okay. Animal facts. It's fun to look at them, isn't it? You asked the question, she began talking about her goals for the future. You listened intently. You heard something that might prove useful. You should report back to her admirer. Oh. Who are you? Oh, Adachi! Huh? Oh, it's you! What's the matter? Can I help you? What are you doing? Dojima sent me. Really? Dojima-san? This sucks. Obviously, I'm working here. It's easy to investigate here with all the people around. It's cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's a pretty good place to... Oops. Yeah, I think I've said enough. <laughs> Seems to doubt she's slacking off. 
I saved, didn't I? Yeah, I saved, so let me... No, I'll, I'll try it. What is he gonna say? That's a little strange. What are you doing here? Killing time? Today is, uh... Tough to... Tough to do out here in the sticks, isn't it? There's nothing here. Oh, it's not like the city at all. Uh, it's not so bad. Oh, yeah? Oh, beer from the city too, right? You'll find out soon enough this town really is dead. <sighs> Get this, my first assignment here was tracking down a cat! Oh my god, it's that cat! <laughs> my suit got so dirty, and they wouldn't let me expense the dry cleaning bill. Next, I played Peace Speaker in a spat some married couple were having. I can't believe they got the police doing that stuff. Dutch seems unsatisfied with country life. But it's uh, a bit more dangerous lately, so I can't kick back. There's that one case, you know. It's still not solved yet. The higher-ups still know what to do. They keep changing procedure on the fly. Sorry. Oops, I hope I'm not making you nervous. You guys have nothing to worry about. You know, us police are on the job. We're more on the job than you, but, yeah, than you, I should say. He sends the Dachi cares for you. Social link? I feel like I understand the Dachi a bit more. Social link? Alright. If there wasn't a social link, I was gonna reset. This is because I wanted to see if Mary was available, but if it's a new social link, that's okay. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou has established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Uh, thou shall be blessed with the persona of the Jester. <laughs> that's perfect. Oh my god, a Dachi is Jester. That's funny. You established the Tohru Adop- That's his first name, okay. I think that's the first time we learned that social link. Uh, the Jester Arcana. Alright. Well, you know- Time for me to get back to work. Oh? Oh? You know her? That was close. What? Who was that? Dachi doesn't seem to want to see that old woman. See ya. Better go. You hurry on home too. Is it your mom or something or something? Uh, don't tell Dojima-san I was in Juness, okay? Oh god, it might actually be like those two from Toss. Anyways, uh, you watched the Dachi go back to work, then went home. 